Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be taking you through a very short tutorial on how you can make the volumetric paint clouds feature work on your own levels without having to rely upon the epic sample content. Okay, let's get started. I've loaded one of my test maps into the editor. I've got three actors in this scene at the moment. Uh, the mannequin, a plane to give me a ground and a cube just to give me a sense of scale. Nothing else at all, no lights, no environments, no nothing. I'm going to use the environment light mixer and I'm just going to click through the defaults so I've got myself basically a sky and sun and the atmosphere components. We can see that the scene's been lit although we still have this odd bug that in the, the directional light the sunlight isn't really coming through so we just have to turn on the advanced properties scroll down to the atmosphere and cloud section and quickly toggle the sunlight and we get our scene back. Now that I've got all the components I need the the first thing I'm going to concentrate on is the volumetric cloud actor. We've got the default material assigned uh, and we know about this from my previous video. What I'm going to do now is change this around for one of the paint cloud materials that Epic provide us. And this is why we need our um, engine content and plugin content both enabled. In your content browser, we're going to go down to the bottom and see under the volumetrics content folder. We're going to go to, going to, go to content, sky, materials, and we're going to use one of these materials here. I'm going to use this one here, the profiles um, soft. I'm just going to drag that straight into my actor and that's done. Now you'll notice that it's gone blank and there's no um, there's no clouds in the sky. Don't worry. The reason for this is because this is using a render target. If we just open this up into our material editor and do search for a render target, we can see this is what it's using for the cloud and it's black. There's nothing here. So that's why there's, there's no clouds in the sky. Until we start painting and start adding something to our render target, we won't see any clouds in our scene. So don't worry if it goes blank. So now we've done that, the next thing we need to do is we need to add a blueprint into our scene. And fortunately, Epic provide us with the right blueprint to use. And we're going to use that now. We go to our volumetric content folder again, this time under Tools, Cloud Compositing, Blueprints. And we want the BP underscore Paint Clouds. And we're just going to drag this into our scene. And that's it. We don't need to do anything with it then in our scene but all we but what we do have to do is change a few things in the details um, there's a few options here I'm not going to go through all of these at all we only have to change a few things first thing is to change the cloud scale kilometers it's down to 100 at the moment so get it back up to maybe something like 700 and elevation to paint cloud kilometers setting to say 10 I'm not going to touch anything else at all um, we can see that our render targets are plugged in. Uh, they're using the defaults which Epic provide, which is fine, exactly what we want for now. We can turn on the grid bounds as well if you want to. We see the limitation of our render target, but that's entirely down to you what you want to do. And that's it. I'm not going to do anything else. The last thing we need to do is change the setting in our world settings, and that's the game mode override. At the moment, it's set to none. We need to change this to paint game. Now when we select the drop down, there's two paint games here, but it's not exactly clear by their name which one to use. However, if we just hover over them, it will show the path in the content browser that the paint game module is pointing to. Uh, so this one's pointing to volumetric tools, cloud compositing blueprints, which is exactly what we want. The other one is pointing to volumetric tools fluid simulation, so we don't want that one. So I'm going to choose this one here. And you'll notice here, another way to quickly spot the difference is in the HUD class, this one says paint underscore HUD. If I'd chosen the other one, it just would have said HUD. So if you accidentally select the other one, just look under the HUD class and check which you've got. It should say paint HUD. Okay, so that's it. That's really all we have to do. And we now should be good to go and start painting our clouds into this level. The last thing to check is make sure we go up to the uh, the play mode in the, the playing level. We're going to use selected viewport and we're just going to hit play. Now straight away, um, we now get our brush settings here in our viewport. 
you can see if I just move the camera you should be able to just about see my brush and I'm just going to start painting and there we go I increase the strength a little bit there we go and there we go we're painting in in my level of course we can stick at a ground level or we can go uh, above the clouds and start painting there so we get a bit more of a bird's eye view and there we go now at any point you could say well I don't really like this uh, this particular material I prefer one of the other ones can I change it well yes you can so I'm just going to stop that and if we just go back to uh, just go back to my cube so I'm more grounded okay that's fine now with the volumetric cloud actor selected we're going to go back to our materials and we're going to choose another one and this one for example we'll choose the paint cloud small we're going to take this drag that in and you'll see straight away it's changed automatically and the reason why it's come straight come up straight away is because we've already populated our render target and that's what's driving this one here if we want to reset the render target at any time we go to our blueprint paint clouds and choose the clear density option and that will wipe out the render target so we can now start painting again uh, if you're doing the velocity option you just clear that here and also update the curves and that will wipe everything back to its default values and then we just press play again and we can start painting if it doesn't seem to be doing much on this 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 kind of values and it's, it's probably because the brush size is a bit small and the strength is a bit low so just increase those and there you can see you get a little bit more detail appearing in our scene and there we go and I can keep on painting uh, to whatever I want again if I don't like this I can stop this and choose one of the other ones uh, this may be the billowy option uh, let's just my volumetric cloud just take this drag that in there and we've got those ones as well and that's it that's all you need to do to make the paint clouds um, work on your level just make sure you have the volumetric cloud actor the blueprint paint clouds and then change the game mode override and you should be good to go now there's a few things to be mindful of um, it only seems to work with actual master materials there's two instances here uh, I tried those that I couldn't get them to work um, so I think it's clear that it doesn't work on instances also if you choose one of these two materials here the paint clouds and also the paint clouds morning they won't work straight away and the reason for that is because if you watch my other video they have they don't have the render target connected up what you have to do with this one is open it up and if you recall in um, in my video here it's pointing to this material we have to change this for the render target which we're painting if you do that and save it and apply it then that will work for you and that's something to bear in mind as well if you want to start expanding upon this with your own blueprints and your own materials and or if you don't want to use the render targets that Epic have provided what you have to do is go into your blueprint and change the render targets to your own uh, specifically named ones and you can do that here now what you've got to do is make sure you may want to duplicate the blueprint because if you save this one you'll overwrite the default from, from Epic so you may want to duplicate this and put it into a different folder structure but you need to create your own render target here and also your flow map render target and name it to whatever um, you want make sure you compile and save the blueprint and then once you've done that you've got to go back into whatever material you want to use and make sure that it's going to use your new render target and not the the epic uh, default ones so you've got to go into your material graph and start finding where your render targets are and make sure you swap this out with your own uh, specifically created ones and if you do that then that should work on whatever level you want with your own particular render targets and that's it that's all there is to it so i really hope this has been very useful to you if it has leave a comment below and yeah um, good luck with using paint clouds on your own levels